Hey guys, I'm LB, and we're going to check out Magnitude by Dr. A, which, like the previous maps, kinda, kinda dark looking, but that's okay. A map with two funnels, two faith plates, and two cubes. Much contemplation ensued about calling it doubles, but that seemed too cliché. Note, there is one part that requires a bit of execution, but nothing too hard, and you can retry easily. <laughs> uh, retie easily. Can you bring the companion cube to the exit? Well, I sure hope we can. I will try to remember that. Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Aha! Here is the companion cube in the flesh and blood. Right. And there is a button up there which goes to... something. I can't tell what from here. Well, this is interesting. I actually kind of like the way this looks. This is neat. So these are like half blocks sticking out from the wall here and they're overlapping with a full staircase. <laughs> Never thought to try that, that's neat looking. Let's put this here and see what that does. Turns off the fizzler. Interesting. There's also another cube there, it's a regular cube. We have a faith plate that appears to launch us right into that, which we might use for some velocity. This just respawns the companion cube. We have a funnel over there that we can't... Actually, we can get over there. Hmm. Also, can we get rid of this? No. There's just not enough portal services up here to get rid of the camera. Alright, well, let's see if we can get the funnel in any capacity. At the very least, that's some sort of accomplishment, right? Hooray, we got the funnel. Although, it's not actually that useful, to be honest. Right, I guess there's nothing left to do but to go over here. <laughs> let's not do that, please. <laughs> oh boy. What does this do? Okay, that turns off that fizzler, which allows us to go back. Let's head over here, though. See what we can do with this cube. Apparently there's another... Oh, that's a death grill. Okay, it's a player fizzler. Oh yeah, that's, uh, we're gonna probably want to leave that there for the time being. Huh. Hmm. Seems like if we want to go over there, we're gonna need the funnel. I don't think we need that just yet, so maybe we should get the... Take the companion cube and put it here for now. It seems more useful on this button. Yeah, that allows us to get some stuff done. Right. So about this faith plate, right? Oh, I just put the portal slightly too high. Let's try that again. Infinite loop! Yay! So... We do eventually want to get... the funnel, right? Shouldn't be too much of a problem, we already did that. Yeah. Let's just, uh... Well, I can actually almost see it from here, but we actually have to go in there to get it. That's very much intentional, the fact that we have to go in there to get it. So if we head across here... We should be able to just push ourselves over there at a moment's notice. Yeah, here we go. So let's see what's over here. It looks like a button that turns off the fizzler. And... oh, that's the other side of where we were going to use the face plate with. Uh-huh. But we need a cube over here, is the thing. We have an open door policy, it seems. Interesting. Something tells me I'm not supposed to be able to see that. Although it's not too useful. <laughs> yeah, we can- we can do this, but, uh, it doesn't really get us anywhere, so... No big deal. So let's think about that regular cube, right? Actually, how do I get back out of here? Oh, that's probably intentional that I'm supposed to be able to see this then. Because this... otherwise how, how would I get out of here? Yeah. Oh no, uh, yeah, duh. I could- I could also just do this. <laughs> I'm overcomplicating things. There we go. Put this back over here for the time being. Wait, I just totally walked off where I needed to put this. There we go. Put it right there. Let's think about this regular cube. Because this guy prevents us from getting in here. It would seem as though we would want to respawn it, because it, it should auto-respawn, right? Yeah, it auto-respawns. So whenever we want to turn this off, we can just make this guy auto-respawn. That should work out nicely. 
Hmm, which almost makes me think we want to put it on there, and funnel it into the Fizzler. Does it even line up that way? I can find out momentarily. Let's just go ahead and take it with us for now. No, it doesn't line up that way. Huh. Well, I'll put it here for now. I'll swap it out. Stay there. Hmm. So we have this guy here. Actually, we don't even need anything on that button anymore, so... Come on. We will want something on that button, though. Just not sure what. We can't grab this in transit, right? I don't think we can. Start by getting the funnel again. Try this again. Eh, whatever. <laughs> this works just as well. Whee! Let's get the companion cube over here, for starters. There. Now we should be able to use the faith plate, but the issue is we're just gonna kill ourselves if we do that. Hmm. Can't really see anything from over here, right? Can't see the portal services. I almost feel like we wanna put a portal here and then go back to the start. Which we can do easily, because we have the companion cube here. Yeah, okay, so this'll work. Yeah, yeah, okay. I ended up doing things right by accident. So let's save here, and then we can respawn the companion cube. Mm-hmm. And then the question is about this cube. We'll want to respawn that guy. Huh. How do we do that? I mean, we could try funneling it, but there's no easy way to do that. Let me look my quick save. I, th I think I may have skipped a couple steps or so. It seems like I can't respawn both cubes from this state. So, like, I can funnel that one off. Or... I can respawn that one. Actually, I can respawn both of them, but the issue is that I won't have a portal there. At the end of the day, I would really- I need a cube to stay on here, so I want to get the companion cube onto this button, and that cube needs to respawn again. Hmm... I think I see what I need to do, I just need to swap the cubes now. Oops, come on, on the stairs please. Let's- let's swap these cubes out, I think I know what I need to do. Sort of. Let's 
So I put a portal there, right? The companion cube can stay there. Meanwhile... I place a portal here. Aha, yes. Then I can take this cube. And respawn it. Bam! Ta-da! Yes, perfect. Exactly what I need to do. That's clever, I like that. Right, so now we have access to the reversed funnel. But we need... we need the blue funnel to get up here. Interesting. Wait, what the heck? Did I break that? <laughs> um... Excuse me, good sir. What? Uh, <laughs> um... Hold on a sec. I don't think that's supposed to be that way. Maybe it is. Maybe that's like a, a checkpoint or something, but I don't know. I feel like that's not intended. <laughs> right, so I need to swap the cubes again. I've just been informed that it is supposed to happen, so okay then. Right. Right, I need to go back here. And this. And now let's save. Okay, so it does turn off. Yeah. And then... Respawn it. Aha, so when we get over here, it turns off as a convenience. That's nice, I like that. I appreciate that. I thought I'd broken it by taking the cube off the button in a weird way or something. Right. So where does this take us, then? Oh! Oh ho ho! Oh, that's cool! The only portal surface we have over here is this one, and if we- if we suck ourselves in through this funnel, I'm pretty sure... ...that, uh, if we get in, we can't really get back out. Oh, we can! So we can just walk here. I thought that once we got in here, we would have to fall into the deadly goo, but apparently we can just fall out onto this little... ...edge here. Kinda creepy the way it's designed like that. And this portal surface is behind grating. So we don't really have a way to keep a portal surface over here. I mean, a portal over here, not a portal surface. Because we've got portal surfaces over here, we don't have a way to keep a portal over here that we can then use. Like, if I put a portal... If I put one of the portals here, then I won't be able to get back over there to get the blue funnel. And the blue funnel's specifically designed so that we have to spend a portal to get to it. Interesting. Like, we can easily see that now, so that's nice convenience. I don't think we need to mess with that cube again, right? Because it's... Yeah, we can pretty much just use the companion cube for everything. Yeah, that's kind of what I expected to happen. Oh! Yes, I see! Clever! Very clever.
Right. Oops. <laughs> well, that's okay. Right, so now we've got to start thinking about getting the companion cube here. That should do, right? I think we might be able to work with that. Maybe. I'm gonna go ahead and save here. Let's take this guy with us. Yeah, there we go. Uh-huh. There we go. Yes. Did it. Ta-da! I believe that is intended. At least it seems like it. Anyway, nice map, Doctor A. I really liked the... the puzzle aspects to it, of having to swap the cubes. Like, I put the cubes the way I thought would be useful, and then I had to swap them back. That was neat. Very nice work. Alright. Well, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!